Good morning. Now, the Ravens had six sacks Sunday versus the Giants, and I don't care that it's the Giants. So, you know, all that, you know, the team was, it don't matter. We created pressure, whether it be by individual effort or by scheme. But the Ravens basically built a sanctuary. So before we get started, I want to thank the Patreon supporters and want to let you guys know that without you, this channel would not continue to grow the way it's growing. Brandon Bazel, Darius Daniels, Brandon Henderson, Joshua, Martin Van Verskick, Alvaro Povos, Jared Green, Antoinette Craig, Random Chameau, Thomas Morgan, and our newest members, Jason Isom and Jesse Wallace. Thank you. So today's comment of the day comes from Justin Roberts, and he said under the live stream from Sunday, I also believe that John Harbaugh is extremely vital to the winning culture of the Baltimore Ravens. His experience and winning in both winning with big games, especially on the road, speaks for itself. We had a chance to beat the Patrick Mahomes-led Chiefs twice with a point differential of under five until we played them early this year. Only a guy that beat the Patriots, he's the only guy that beat the Patriots with consistency in the postseason. He's not a great game manager, but a great teacher of fundamentals, especially in the secondary, and his teams always get stronger as the season matures. Now, with that being said, you know, that's one of the few comments that I've seen over the past year and a half that praise John Harbaugh. A lot of the comments about Harbaugh have been meh to bad, but this is one of the few comments that, that actually praises him, and he got good points in there, you know, even though we don't have but one Super Bowl to show for it, we consistently ba consistently battled with the Patriots most of the time being in New England. And, yeah, we've had, you know, some some good games with the Chiefs, except for this year. But, you know, it's hard to say you want to get rid of somebody whose track record is so good when you look at the big picture. All right, we're back. But before we get started, if this is your first time here, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And after you hit the subscribe button, go find that bell, click the notification so you can get these random video notifications when they drop. But on to the film, on to the film. Now these sacks are in no particular order, so let's just see what happens here and then we'll explain it, you know, you know how we do it. So what you got up front, you got one, two, three, you got seven man box, pretty much everybody standing up around the line of scrimmage. Uh, looks like the Giants have enough people to protect six. So the, the widest guy should belong to the quarterback, which I think is that's who he's pointing at. So what should happen is we should go bam, bam, bam. And I don't know how they're going to do it on this side, but these three are responsible for these three. Uh, and these three are responsible for these three. You're going to leave him free so the quarterback can, you know, gotta get, has to get rid of the ball. But let's see how it plays out. So exactly what I say. They're leaving uh, Elliot free. Everybody else, you know, he knows he knows he got to get rid of the ball quick. The stunt between Judon and and Boyd right here. Watch this. He got a stunt right here. Which Boyd wins. Boyd wins an individual matchup. Boyd beats the running back. And with and with the quarterback sliding to the quarterback's left, the defense right, he slides right in the board. And even had they blocked it, Elliott would have gotten there because his little hot route, this is the quarterback hot route right here. Did Campbell drop out of there? Yep, Campbell dropped out of there. Campbell started. So now you can't come to the hot route. So Campbell took the hot route away. I didn't notice that. Campbell took the hot route away by dropping right there. So and on top of the fact that Marlins all over it. So the first read is gone. So now he has to get the ball out fast. And with Boyd winning and the Joker coming unblocked, easy. Scheme set. Scheme set. Now look at this one. Now we have one, two, we have six in the box. And they're an empty. So we still have an extra guy. The ball has to come out. We were bringing six. Well, it looks, it looks like we're bringing six. They only have five to block. So, again, I don't know if we're going to see it on film. Maybe let me go back and see. He should be pointing out one of these guys, pointing out the free guy. Should be. I don't know if he's going to do it or not. 
Bowser drops out, so now they got enough to block it. I got enough to block it. And somebody else drops out. Who is this? Judon drops out too. So now we're only bringing four. And this is what I love for us getting sacked by four. And Gogway doing his famous jump. Didn't get by. Camelot takes the end. Boards unblocked. And you got, I think this is Tremont coming in. The old vet coming in. Just confuse the Giants. So just confusion. Giants were confused. They probably had, thinking about it, they probably had him here, him here, him going there, him going there, him there. And then with this guy being free, that's what they thought. But post snap, 99 to 54 got out of there. They never changed. They didn't have enough time to communicate their assignments that left him free. If they'd have stayed like this and brought all of them, he'd have been free anyway. But when they dropped out of there, the Giants old line didn't change their assignments and he was able to come free. So good, another nod to win. This is scheme. That scheme. Because you still brought five. One, two, three, four, five. Boy got a sack. Because boy got a sack. So those are boys, two sacks. All right, so now we're looking at play three, which this is Judon's sack. See Judon highlighted right here and up front. Look, we got four down, two in the box or six in the box. I don't know if we bring them four or six. Let's see. So we bring six. So now it's one on one with everybody. Five linemen and a back. Now what's going to happen here? Judon is going to win his individual effort. So if you focus on Judon, which is right here. This tackle sticks his right arm out to try to get that post on. Judon about to slap it down. Watch. Knock it down. Now, at this point, because this, this left arm for the tackle is null and void. Null and void. Both of these arms are under Judon's right arm. So now all he has to do is take this shoulder and dip it and get around his end. This is what he does. Now, free, free swipe at the ball. Miss the swipe, but get the sack. That's a great individual effort by Judon because this is what we've been expecting out of him all year. With the, the interior pressure that we get and command now, he should be winning one-on-ones like this more often. And he's been coming on lately. That's watching the live action chop, dip, sack. It's a good individual effort by Judon. That's not a scheme sack. That's an individual effort. Going on to play four. All right. So we got four, four down linemen, two linebackers. Not sure if we bring in four or six. Let's see. Bring in four, which is what I love. To get pressure with four. Let's see what happens. Again, another great individual move by Manabike, who's having a great last two weeks. Having a great last two weeks. Let's back it up. So here's Manabike right here. Let's see what he does. Does he get a one-on-one -on -one or what? So he got he get a one-on-one -on -one with 66. Double on swim. I him out the way. He's now 66 is off balance. Matter BK is already by him. The back is in the hole, so the back should probably help on Matter BK. He does not. The center tries to come late, but the back knocks the center off, which helps Matter BK get clearly to the quarterback. And I think he got held too by 66. So he beat three guys. Matter BK beat three guys. Three guys for this sack. Good job. He's having a great last two weeks. Great last two weeks. He's gonna be good. A good rotational guy when when everybody's healthy. Wolf, um, McPhee, Brandon, Campbell. Matter BK is holding his own. Good pickup. And the fifth sack. But what I love about that last one, you know, before we get away from it. We got pressure with four. That's going to be huge that we, if we can do that. Bringing six this time. This is Campbell and McPhee. Campbell and McPhee. So let's look at Campbell first. But they, they created it McPhee with this sack. Let's look at Campbell first. Campbell's here. Let's see what, what we get out of uh, Calais. Less against the, they, oh, they got a stunt going. So let me bag it up so I can set this stunt up. 
Calais is going to attack, attack the inside shoulder of this guy. Then go. Now, while he's attacking the inside shoulder, he's going to be coming over to help on Calais. Because right now, they're going two for two. That's what they're trying to do. Go two for two. But Calais is going to attack this guy so Judon can loop around him. But when he attacks this guy, he gets so much inside push that he can now come off and go flat to the quarterback. Inside push. Trying to set it up for Judon. They get so much push on the tackle that when the, when the guard comes off, Calais has a flat route to the QB. Bam. All right, let's go back to McPhee. Let's see what McPhee got going over here. McPhee is lined up and standing up in the zero. Over the center. Attacks the center's left side. Doesn't win with the first move. Just keep fighting. They got a little stunt, long stunt going too. So over here you got Bowser, McPhee attacking these guys with Ngagwe trying to loop around. So basically you got a double stunt going. And what happens is the same thing that happened. When 50 comes off, when he comes off to get Ngagwe, this dude is so engaged with Bowser that he doesn't even pay attention to him and let's, just lets McFree, McPhee free. Bam. Right there. And to me, Calais and McPhee should probably should have got a half a sack because they kind of get that at the same time. All right. And the sixth and final sack. We got five up front. Seven in the box. Eight in the box. When you when the Joker walk down. Oh. <laughs> Just unabated to the QB. This is Jihad Ward. This might have been the first sack. This is the first sack of the game, I think. Unabated to the QB. Let's see. We got one, two, three, four, five, six guys on the line, at, the, at the line of scrimmage. And two linebackers. So that's eight. And Chuck's in here. This, we're not going to count Chuck. So we got eight in the box. They got five. Evan Ingram, six. Uh, this guy, seven. Goldman, eight. So they got eight in the box also. So for some reason, the miscommunication was between him and him. He kicked out for the widest. I guess he was thinking he was going to kick over here and he was going to kick there. I guess that's the thinking that, that had to have happened because this guy goes all the way out to Malik. This guy stays here on, I think this is Matabike, and Ward is just free to get the QB. And I really think they should have, sl should have slid left because the fullback goes right also. But the miscommunication is somewhere between 66 and 78. Unless, now it's play action, so the back tries to chip at the last minute, but it's too late. That's, that's tough on the back, the chip on the opposite side so it's a scheme sack scheme sack and probably a blown assignment by the Giants line but the fact that all these people in the box you know I'm gonna say it's scheme sack cause you gotta account for all them guys you don't know where they're coming from you don't know who's dropping out and look at the coverage right here locked up locked up Ingram releasing late so he's not part of the blocking scheme so that's another guy that's probably can come free you know and then with him with Queen I think this is Queen coming late that kinda take away the hot route but he really didn't have a chance to get to the high rock. As soon as he get his head turned, Ward's right here. Right here. And then you got, oh, excuse that mark. You got Ingram trying to be the hard route. But look how close Marlon is on him. Marlon's all over. But again, this is, you know, we had six sacks against the Giants. Had some stuff to go our way. So right now we're sitting as the number six seed. Um, and hopefully we win Sunday to, to either get a higher seed or just stay where we at but we in right now we in we in versus the Bengals <laughs> it's a chance to to get in the playoffs and make some noise this is your first video of the week I got two more cut up that be coming out soon but um, again I appreciate everybody for tuning in make sure you like comment subscribe thank the Patreon subs too uh, everybody that hit the cash app everybody hit the PayPal I appreciate you guys and um, if this is the last video before the new year's happy new year